Let's try to answer a basic question. What are the smallest particles in the universe? And what are we really made up of? The first attempt for an answer was given by Democritus back in ancient Greece. He thought that all matter must be composed of extremely small pieces that he called atoms. An atom is a Greek word for indivisible. Nowadays, however, we know that the atom is not indivisible since it's made up of protons, neutrons and electrons. But you may ask yourself, what about these? So let's give some explanation. A fundamental particle is one with no substructure. In particle physics, we describe how these particles behave and interact with each other in a framework that we call the standard model. The fundamental particles can be divided into three main categories, the quarks, the leptons and the gauge bosons. The quarks and leptons are matter particles, whereas the gauge bosons are force carriers. We will explain each category separately. So let's start with the gauge bosons. These particles are force carriers and without them there would be no interaction between matter particles. In the standard model, there are four fundamental forces. The electromagnetic force, the strong force, the weak force and the gravitational force. The electromagnetic force is responsible for the interaction between particles which carry the electric charge, for example, two electrons. This is achieved by the exchange of a gauge boson of the electromagnetic force, the photon. The strong force is responsible for holding the nucleus of an atom together and it's by far the strongest one. Just like the electromagnetic force, the strong force is responsible for the interaction between particles which carry the strong charge, which we will talk about in another video. This is done by the exchange of a gauge boson of the strong force, the gluon. The weak force is somewhat more difficult to explain in simple terms, but for this video we will just say that it's responsible for nuclear decays. The weak force has three gauge bosons, the W+, the W-, and the Z neutral boson. All these particles have been experimentally proven to exist. It is widely accepted that the gravitational force must have its own gauge boson, the so-called graviton, but there is no experimental evidence yet. For the rest of the video, the gravitational force will be left out because its strength is completely negligible compared to the other forces. Now let's move on to matter particles. As explained earlier, these are being categorized in two groups, the quarks and the leptons. The quarks are particles with both strong and electric charge, so they feel both the electromagnetic and the strong force. There are six types of quarks, the up and the down, the charm and the strange, and the top and bottom quarks. The top row shows quarks with an electric charge of plus two-thirds E, where E is the charge of the electron, and the bottom row shows quarks with an electric charge of minus one-third E. Different types of quarks can combine to form larger particles. For example, the familiar protons and neutrons are composed of quarks. Like the quarks, there are also six types of leptons. The electron and the electron neutrino. The muon and the muon neutrino. The tau and the tau neutrino. Three of them are neutral and the other three are electrically charged. The top row shows the electrically charged leptons with a charge of minus E. The bottom row shows the neutral leptons. All these leptons do not have a strong charge, so they completely ignore the strong force. The interaction of particles with the fundamental forces is shown in the following table. Let me give you a few seconds to take that in. To summarize, all known fundamental particles are shown here. The standard model has been proven to be extremely successful, but we do know that it's not the complete story. In the next video, we will discuss in more detail the processes by which particles interact, and we will make use of the Feynman diagrams which help you visualize these processes. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.